Hello everyone. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about what is function, what is domain, and what is range, what is many to one function, and what is one to one function. Okay. So in this particular lecture, we are going to discuss about the different types of a function along with their properties and the graph. Okay. So these lectures will be very useful for your uh, interview as well as written test point of view. Okay. okay. So the first function is constant function. Now, what is constant function? For example, y equals to f of x equals to c. I have a function which is always a constant, having a constant uh, number, for example, c. Okay. So, how the graph will look like? So, the graph will be like this y equals to c only, simple horizontal line parallel to x axis and symmetric about the y axis. Okay. So, constant function will look like this it's a horizontal line parallel to x axis symmetric about y axis so remember this point parallel to x axis and symmetric about y axis now what about this particular constant function it will generate the same output irrespective of the value right can i say like this because the output is constant only right so, can I say it will generate the same output irrespective of the input, right? It means what is the domain of this particular function? Domain. Domain means all real numbers. It can take all real numbers, right? But what is range? Range is restricted to C only. Doesn't matter what value you take, you will get the same output as C. So, range is restricted to C only. That is, that is this output. Right now, what we can say from this particular graph? So, this function is continuous everywhere, continuous. So, this line will continue for every value of x. So, this function is continuous everywhere. Right, what about the slope of this particular function? Since this is a horizontal line parallel to x axis, what will be the slope of this particular function or gradient of the function? It will be a zero. So, zero slope or gradient, I can say, right? And this function is not invertible. It means we cannot found, means we cannot find the inverse of this particular function. It is not invertible. Okay. So, we'll discuss what is continuous function, what is invertible function, all those things. But please keep a note of these important points. I will add in the notes. You don't need to note it down, but uh, please go to the notes once. Okay. So, this is about constant function. We are also going to visualize this particular function, how it works. Okay. Now, next function is linear function or identity function. Now, what is linear function? For example, f of x equals to x. Okay. So, graph will look like this y equals to x passing through origin, maintain an angle of 45 degree for f of x equals to x. Right. I can generalize this particular expression as like this only, like this also, f of x equals to ax plus b, right? So, this, in this particular function, a is 1 and b is 0. So, I can write this function as like this also. This is also linear function, it is ax plus b. But what is this? This is basically equation of a line, equation of straight line, right? That is y equals to mx plus c where m is the slope and c is the y-intercept. So, if you compare these two equations, I can say a is basically a m, which is basically a slope of a, slope of a line, and c is, and b is basically a c, which is a y-intercept. Now, what is y-intercept here? y-intercept means where the graph or curves cut the y-axis, and where x-coordinate is 0 where x coordinate is 0 and where the graph cut the y axis that is basically y intercept okay this is what c is this is what m is okay now what we can say about this particular function what are the important properties so what about the slope of this particular function right slope of any linear function is basically rate of change of that particular function with respect to a variable x right if i want to find out the slope of this particular function what i will do d of of dx df f of x of dx that is basically dy by dx right 
So this is what slope of a function is for this particular linear function, right? What about y-intercept? Y-intercept we already discussed whenever x equals to zero or where my graph cut the x y-axis, right? And where my graph cuts the y-axis, that is basically a y-intercept. Now, what is domain of this particular function? What is domain? What is domain? So it can take all real numbers. It can take all real numbers. Now, what about the range? What about the range of this linear function? So it depends on value of. It depends on value of a and b, but generally it is all real numbers. That is minus infinity to infinity, right? So we'll discuss how this graph will vary if I change the value of a or value of b or both the value of a and b. So we are going to visualize how this graph is going to change if I change the value of a or b, right? Now just one important point regarding this linear function. Now what is parallel lines and what is perpendicular line? Let's revise that also. So what is parallel lines? Lines are having the same slope. Lines are having same slope. That is basically a parallel line. What about perpendicular line? Perpendicular line. The slope that are negative reciprocal of each other means if I say I have a two lines, for example, y equals to mx plus c, like m1 c1 and for example i am having a another line m2 x plus c2 so if i want to if i say these two lines are perpendicular then what i can say m1 into m2 is basically a minus one right it means that so the slopes are the negative reciprocal of each other and for parallel lines m1 must be equals to m2 or two lines are parallel when the slopes are equal and two lines are perpendicular when the product is minus one. Okay, so remember these two important points as well. Okay, so this is about the linear function and this is about the constant function. Okay, now let's visualize this uh, both the functions. Okay, now first we'll discuss about the constant function. So if I put y equals to three, the graph will look like this. So line passing through a y equals to three. That is horizontal line parallel to x axis and symmetric about the y-axis right this is what uh, y equals to 3 graph will look like right now if i just change this values value of 3 right for example i'm just increasing the value of 3 towards higher side like 3 4 5 like this so you can see this graph this green line is shifting upward right so if i just keep changing the value of uh, y equals to 5 6 7 like that the graph will shift up upwards okay so what about if i just reduce the value of y for example, 0 or minus 1. So you can see the graph will go downwards. Okay. So simple thing y equals to 4. It's y will be a drawn like this when y equals to 4, like positive 4 here. When I say y equals to minus 4, so it will be graph will be downward in the negative y direction. That is basically a minus 4 like this. Okay. So simple function, it is constant function. Okay. Now let's discuss about the linear function that is y equals to x so when i say y equal to x so graph will look like this a line passing through a origin at angle of 45 degree right so just generalize this as ax plus b so let's discuss about first ax only now what will happen if i just change the value of a so as of now a equals to 1 it means y equals to x so line passing through the origin it is for sure, but the, but the angle of of the slope of forty five degree. What if I change the value of a? What will happen? So if I increase the value of a, so you can see that particular line is going towards the y axis, right? Here you can see. I am simply increasing the slope of this particular function, and here you can see the effect of that. Okay. What about I decrease the value of a? Here you can see. So if I just reduce, so here you can see. Now, if I just change uh, to a negative value, the graph is looking like this, okay? For example, minus 1, like this, right? Minus 1, so it will look like this, right? So, this is what y equals to ax. So, by changing the value of ax, you can see how my graph is getting varied, okay? Here, so this is basically slope, 
if i just change slope to negative direction so this will the effect of the graph so this will happen with the graph okay now let's add one more uh, here that is y equals to ax plus b now now let's see what is the effect of b so let's fix a first okay i am fixing a equals to 1 only okay so let's fix a equals to 1 for example now i want to change the value of b so first initially value of b is 0 okay so this graph will be for when a equals to 1 and b equals to 0 so what will happen if i change the value of b so just see here if i change the value of b towards positive side what is going to happen see here the graph is shifting on the left side of a two dimensional graph right if i just change the value of b for example 1 right for when a equals to 1 what is happening here what is the y intercept here y intercept means the point where graph cut the y axis and x coordinate is 0 so when i put x equals to 0 it means y equals to 1.1 right for this example so this will be 1.1 right if you want to find out this particular location what i can say the line cut the x axis it means y equals to 0 so if i put y equals to 0 here what will be the value of x so a is 1 and b is 1.1 so value of x will be uh, minus 1.1 so this value will be minus 1.1 here you can see right minus 1.1 so if i give any equation linear equation you should be able to draw a graph okay so this is what will happen if i just shift the value of b towards positive side like this if i shift the value of b towards negative side minus it will go like this okay so this is what the effect of a and b is on the linear graph okay i hope you understand this particular uh, example so i will add all the important properties in the notes you can just go through it okay now there is homework question for you guys so you need to draw a graph of y equals to vx plus 2 second one y equals to minus 3x plus 2 and third one is y equals to 3x minus 2 okay you need to plot a graph of all those three just to uh, take the photos and you can just uh, comment below okay and also y equals to 4x okay so these are the four things uh, you need four graphs you need to draw and practice okay if in exam in written test or in, in, in your interview if they ask for such type of questions so you should be able to draw a graph okay simple question but you should know how to draw it okay thank you